Australia and that year was, you know, I'm very thankful of what Killshaw did and gave me the opportunity to do that because it was quality year. Hi, I'm Gavin Benyon and this is my rugby league career so far. I first started out at a team called Latchford Albion Unicorns. Um, not a very scary name, is it really? But they are a team in Latchford in Warrington and that's where I played my amateur days, which I really enjoyed. I uh, loved it. Being a young kid, I um, think I'd grown up playing rugby league. You know, and then I've obviously started supporting the Warrington Wolves. So yeah, from from Latchford, when things got a bit more serious, uh, Warrington Wolves picked me up on a uh, um, on like a scholarship deal, which was under 16s. Um, there's a you know a man uh, called Peter Farrell who spotted me um, and gave me a chance at this scholarship, which then led into getting a. Uh, under 18s contract, academy contract with the Wolves, um, which was really good. We played at Wolders Bowl when it was still there. Um, loved it. Loved being part of the Wolves, you know, the setup. Um, and it was always my dream to to go full time with them and try and play for Warrington one day, uh, which didn't happen unfortunately. But we'll get to that bit. Um, from there, moved on to the under 20s team, where uh, um, progressed into winning the grand final for the under-20s, which was really good. I think we played against Leeds in the final at the Halliwell Jones Stadium. Um, I was only about 18 at this time, um, so still quite young. We didn't get too much game time, but that was a really good experience to, to be able to progress onto the under-20s at the time, which is like our reserve set up as we have now. And then, then from there, I got the, uh, the chance to go full-time with Warrington which was like a dream come true to me because the year I was full-time, I had, obviously, you know, like, the likes of Adrian Morley, you know, Gareth Carvel, Lee Brears, your Monaghan brothers, they were all uh, the players that were they're in that squad. And it was near enough impossible for me to, to get into their starting team because of them sort of players. But to be able to train and pick up sort of tips off them a lot, you know, it was like a kind of a dream come true because I always looked up to the likes of Adrian Morley and Lee Brears. So yeah, that was a really good opportunity. Um, Tony Smith was the coach when I was there. And uh, I got a couple of friendlies, played against the Boxing Day friendly against Widness, um, but I didn't really get much of a shot. Yeah, so after Warrington, uh, I got released from Warrington after the two years. I was there full time. Um, then decided to uh, go out to Australia for a year where um, Alan Kilshaw got in touch with me to a, a team called Serena, Serena Crocodiles they were called, so I played for some you know, strange names, Unicorns and the Crocodiles, there's a few teams out there, not the most scary teams, but Australia and that year was, you know, I'm very thankful of what Kilshaw did and gave me the opportunity to do that because it was quality year, loved every minute of it and playing rugby out there as well as working, I was uh, working on the beaches, as a beach protection cleanup crew, where we just stroll around the beaches and you know mow the lawns on the on the grass, like other sides of it, and look after, make sure there's no litter on the beach. But most of the time, we just used to grab grab a sandwich or grab a little pie from the um, from the bakery, go down to the beach, park up, um, have a bit of a sleep, and watch the dolphins and whales go past. Uh, sometimes a few kangaroos, koala bears, and stuff like that, but. That sort of job that I had on there was quality. I loved every second of that. Uh, that year was really good. And alongside that, we were close to playing rugby for Serena. And I got the uh, chance to go play Queensland Cup as well with Mackay Cutters, um, who Killshaws got me a bit of a trial there. And they took me on as well, played a few games out there for them. So I got to travel a bit as well. Went to Papua New Guinea with them. Um, some good trips, Gold Coast, down to Brisbane. Um, up to Townsville, some really good trips, you know, out of, of playing rugby. So it's something that's been massive, obviously, in my, in my life. And being able to take it out to Australia was one of the best years I've ever had and most enjoyable, really. After Australia, I come back. I was getting a little bit homesick, you know, I wanted to come home. Um, 
decided to sign at Halifax for a year with Richard Marshall. Um, he took me in for a year there, uh, where I played you know, a decent amount of games. I wasn't too keen on the travel from Warrington and his travel to Halifax and you know, that M62 and the motorway up there can get busy at times. It wasn't the, the easiest or most enjoyable, but um, still enjoyed you know the rugby side of things when I was there. Um, Halifax is a great club. You know, they've got a big, massive stadium, good fan base. You know, there's a great set of lads again. Maybe team have been a good set of lads. Um, Halifax was uh, another good year. Um, from Halifax, moved on to uh, Rochdale, back with Kilshaw, who got the head coach job there. Um, and that was a real good, enjoyable year because, you know, I've got a, quite a good relationship and bond with um, Kilshaw as well. So I played a year at Rochdale where we won some good games. We had a good team there. Um, very enjoyable to play, to play with a lot of them lads. Um, we managed to survive that year in Championship just after being promoted, which is, I think, you know, a massive achievement for any team to be promoted and to survive in a Championship. It's, it's a tough league. So yeah, leading from Rochdale, we um, got the chance to go um, back to Super League and uh, that played in. You know, I got a chance to go full time again, and that was with the uh, Salford Red Devils. Uh, Watto gave me the chance to go there. Um, Salford was, you know, I loved it. I loved being full time with them. Um, really a good setup that we had there at the AJ Bell. It was good to be, you know, training in your mornings. Obviously, a full time setup and every day you train. You know, get yourself into some of the best like obviously shape you can and start enjoying your rugby. I got a little bit of a chance there with a few of the games, um, but again, not a massive chance to play Super League, but made my debut against Wigan, Wigan away, and we got slaughtered, I think, actually. <laughs> they give us a bit of a hammer in, um, but that was tough, you know, playing, I could play Championship and I was lasting full games, whereas play two player, I played the first 15 minutes and I was ready to, you know, I think I got pulled off anyway. It was just the pace of that so much quicker, so much a tough game, a lot tougher at that um, at that level, I think. But yeah, apart from that one, you know, I played, played against Leeds Rhinos as well, uh, our place at AJ Bell, which we won as well. We won that one. Um, beat them quite comfortably, so that was good to be involved in. He got a bit of a groin injury as well whilst at, at Salford. Whether that was because you know I couldn't quite keep up with the pace at the time, I don't know. Um, but after the year at Salford, you know they decided that they, they weren't going to keep me as well. So yeah, I've done. I did a year um, under Stuart Little at Swinton Lions which was one of the most enjoyable years as well, uh, playing rugby. The great, you know, we had a great set of lads there as well. It was proper, real good team we had. And um, yeah, playing under Stu is brilliant. He's, he's one of them coaches, who, you know, he knows his stuff. He's, he's very good, but he's also, you know, you can, you can be a mate with him as well. He's not just, you know, your head coach of a team. He's, he respects all his players. He's, and he'll do anything he can for you. But I think the relationship we all had with Stu was a great sort of bond as well, friendship bond, as well as coach, but you had the respect there. And I think that's why, I, you know, we had such a good year the other year with Swinton. You know, we won quite some, some big games and we had a right good team. So one, that was one of my best playing years, um, actually playing under Stu. You know, I think he got a lot out of me, um, made me into a, what I am now, like uh, an established championship player, I think. Got the opportunity, I was in Mexico at the time, on holiday, and um, for the 2017 World Cup, I got a phone off, um, phone call off John Keir, asking him to be involved in the, the World Cup squad to go out to play in Australia. So obviously there's a, a static about that, you know, to be able to represent the country is one thing, it's just quality. And obviously a trip out to Australia was three weeks for the World Cup 2017, which was you know one of the best experiences of my life. And um I only you know I joined the squad late um due to being on holiday. But um, I got to play the island game in Perth 
uh, which unfortunately we got beat, but you know, it was a good game and something that I'll remember for the rest of my life. That, that sort of game and tour was quality, playing in front of you know big crowds over there because the Australians, they love their rugby. Obviously, you can see with the NRL how big the NRL is over there. And when there's a World Cup over there, you know, everyone comes out to watch. So that was a, a real good experience and a real good trip, being able to travel around Australia, playing for your country was quality. From being in that squad, you know, I got picked for the European Championships again the following year, I think it was, or the following two years, uh, which we actually won. We uh, managed to get qualified for the World Cup coming up in 2021, which is next season, which is something I'm aiming for myself to try and, you know, be cement a position in that Wales squad to make sure I'm playing in that World Cup. Signed for Rochdale now, which I can't wait to get started. You know, there's some good people at Rochdale. There's, um, obviously, Miles is your... I know Miles well. He's the s &C there, so I can't wait to link back up with Miles. Uh, Rami is like your team manager around Rochdale and he's one of the best blokes you'll ever meet, Rami, so I can't wait to get back and meet with him. Um, and then Callum, you know, your head coach, he looks like um, he's promised and obviously he's done well with what he's done so far. You know, so I can't wait to be playing under Matt as well. And I think obviously the direction that Rochdale want to go in now with the new board that took over, you know, there's only positive things to come from it and hopefully we can drive that team and get some more fans through that crowd and through the gate watching Rochdale a bit more because there's a massive scope for it with the town of the population is huge. Um, so I think we can definitely try and get some more fans in, especially with the, uh, the football being so, like obviously we play at the same stadium and it's, it's all kind of tied in and linked in. So hopefully we can draw some more fans in and get people watching rugby league. I think the main aim with uh, Rochdale is to, you know, win the league one this year. So if we can gain promotion, up to the championship, I think it's not only a must, it's something I think is definitely achievable uh, with the squad that we're building. Um, but yeah, we need to get into that championship and become a well-established championship team, you know, competing at the top end with the likes of your Halifaxes, your Toulouses, and hopefully we can compete week in, week out with them sort of teams and become that sort of team that, you know, people are scared of, you know, coming to Rochdale and playing against us.